Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Code for Kids. So today we are going to learn about how you will create your fish aquarium project. So in this project, you will learn how you will add motion to any sprite, how you will add the events, how you will use your control. Okay, so let's start. So first I will run this project. I will show you the output of this project. So as you can see, this looks like your fish aquarium. You can say it looks like the fish tank also. So now I will show you how you will add your sprite, how you will add your backdrops and how you will start to give instruction to your sprites. Okay, so let's start. So first thing, we will take a new project. So for that, you have to just click on this file, click on the new. So once you will click on the new, it will show you the new project for you. So over here, as you can see, so how you will add your sprites and how you will add your backdrop. So what we will do, first we will delete this cat from here. So you have to just press this delete button. Now how you will add your backdrops, it's a very simple step. You have to just click on this choose a backdrop. Now here you will get lots of backdrop. But for our purpose, we want some underwaters. Okay. So you need to just click on this underwater. You will get two underwater backdrop. So whatever is your choice according to that, you can select any one of them. So as per now, I'm selecting our first one. So you will get the backdrop here in your stage area, okay? So next step, how we will add the sprites, okay? How we will add our fishes. So you have to just click on this choose a sprite. You will get lots of sprite, but we want fish. So we have to just search for the fish. You will get lots of fishes like uh, you will get jellyfish, shark, shark to starfish. So suppose I want this one. So you need to just click on that. Automatically, you will get the fish here. Okay. After that, if I will click on this green flag. Okay. So by using green flag, we can run our project. Okay. So if I will click on the green flag, nothing will happen. Why? Because till now, we are not added any instruction here. So first thing, how you will add the instruction, okay? So always we will start from event. Event means you can add any event here. Even you can add when flag is clicked or if you want like when you will press your space bar, you want to move the fish. So for that, you can select this when space key is pressed. If you want that, when you will click on this fish and you want to move that, okay? So you need to just take this one. So according to your choice, you can add the events, okay? So I want to add this flag. So you need to just drag and drop this. Drag, hold this and drop it into your scripting area, okay? After that, Suppose you want to move the fish. It means you want to provide the motion. So you have to just click on this blue circle. So that is your motion. Over here, you will get all the things which is related to your motion. Okay. So I will just drag and drop this move. It means now when you will click on the flag, fish will move. As you can see, fish is moving, but only a little bit. Okay. So if you want to move the fish again and again in a continued manner, so we have to just go to this control. We will take this forever. So forever means we want to move our fish continuously, okay, like this. So now if you will click on the flag, your fish will move. But it is going outside of your stage area, as you can see. If you will take your fish here, Again, the fish will move. So in the scratch, this is called as boundaries. This is called as edges, okay? 
So if you want to move, if you want to like a return back your fish, what we will do? We have to add the edges. Okay, so in the motion, if you will scroll down, you will get edge bounce. Okay, like this. So what will happen? Your fish will return back now. But uh, just look at your fish. The fish is ups and down, ups and downs, right? So we will take this rotational style for the fish. Now fish is moving perfectly, okay? If you want to add any sound, even we can do that. Suppose when I click on the flag, I want to add some sound. So you need to just go to this sound. You can play this ocean wave. Now, by using this red circle, we can stop our project. Now, as you can see, you will get ocean wave sound, okay? After that, if you want more fishes here, even uh, just you can duplicate. So suppose you want Three fish, so you can take like a, you just need to duplicate two times, you will get three fishes. So now, if you will click on the fish, okay. So, but if we want to change the costume of the fish, how we will do that? Okay, we can easily change the costume of the fish. You need to just go to the looks, okay you will get switch costume, okay? Now, if you will run, you will get one fish in the yellow color. Suppose you want to change the costume for this fish also. Again, go to this purple circle, looks. Select switch costume. Instead of fish D, now see, we have a four costumes. A, B, C, D. Suppose I want C. If I will run now, now as you can see, now we have a three fish in three costumes, right? So in this way, we can move the fish inside the ocean, okay? Now, if we want, the fish will say, hello, hi, how are you, like that. So we can take this, say hello for two seconds. So what will happen? The fish will say hello. Okay. If you want the fish continue like a continuously, the fish will say hello to you. See. Okay. So, like that, we can create an animation in the inside your scratch. We can create fish aquarium. Okay. So, our next part: how you will rename this project. So if you will take a new project, you will get the project name like this. So here I will write my project name is fish. Even you can write fish aquarium, you can write fish tank. So according to your choice, we can give the name. And how you will share your project, you need to just click on the share button. And uh, once you will scroll down here, you will get a copy link. Just copy the link and share your project. And if you want to add any description, any instruction for the user who will use this project, we can write inside the instruction. Even we can write some notes here, okay? So this is all about our fish aquarium project, okay? So, uh, now we will meet in our next video. Okay, so till that, subscribe our channel, which is Code for Kids. So like, share, and subscribe this channel and press the bell icon also if you want the latest update. Okay, so thank you so much.